Hello everyone, welcome to Static Cardiology here on EMTV. I'll be presenting you a static cardiology rhythm and scenario. And on the bottom of the screen, you'll see a one minute and 30 second timer. This timer is here because it closely mimics the actual average time you should be spending on each card during a national registry scenario. At the end of the card, I'll give you an explanation and a treatment for the rhythm that you saw. Good luck. Three, two, one. So in this scenario, you're given a 67-year-old female who recently underwent some pretty serious heart surgery and they're complaining of weakness currently. So let's go ahead and take a look at this rhythm a little bit more closely. Now, as we're looking at six second strips here, there are one, two, three, four QRS complexes. So this heart rate is approximately 40 BPM. Now, one other thing you should notice here is you're seeing more P waves than there are QRS complexes. This should immediately clue you in that this is some sort of heart block. More specifically, this is usually going to be a variation of a second degree heart block. As there are two different kinds of second degree heart blocks, we'll need to then look at the PR intervals. Now these PR intervals, the ones that are connected, the duration does not change. So because you have a fixed PR interval here and a complete drop off of a QRS complex, my diagnosis of this rhythm would be second degree type 2, otherwise known as Mobitz 2. And again, this is a form of heart block. Now, as identification of the rhythm is only half of the concept of the static cardiology card, we need to determine if this rhythm is stable or unstable, and then treat it appropriately. Now, for stable versus unstable, for my unstable criteria, I use the acronym CHAD, which stands for cardiac insufficiency, hypotension, altered mental status, and dyspnea. We'll read parts of the scenario here to kind of get an idea of whether or not this patient is stable or unstable. Now, the first highlighted text, the patient is pale and diaphoretic, but becomes unresponsive. Unresponsiveness is a form of altered mental status, so this patient is unstable by default. Blood pressure is 72 over 34, which makes her hypotensive, and oxygen saturation is 89% on room air. So this patient is also dyspneic. So this patient actually will meet technically all criteria of CHAD. They're hypotensive, they're altered, they're dyspneic, and they are suffering the effects of end organ failure as a result of cardiac insufficiency. So this patient is unstable. Now unstable criteria usually, or unstable patients usually then receive some sort of electrical therapy, and this is per AHA doctrine, per AHA guidelines. So let's take a look at that. Treatment for this patient is going to involve electrical therapy definitively, but for static cardiology, you have to say a few things. Begin regurgitating the mantra, scene safe BSI IVO2 monitor. Next, because your patient isn't ven ventilating adequately, we're going to BBM them with 100% oxygen. We're gonna consider sedation. Now, obviously they're unresponsive, so they're sedated enough. We're going to attach our pads, 
turn on the pacer function on our life pack, and then immediately the first thing that we're going to see is your pulses per minute. So we're going to set the rate to anywhere between 60 and 100 beats per minute or PPM pulses per minute on a pacer. And then we're going to increase the electricity, the milliamperage until we see electrical capture and mechanical capture. The mechanical capture is confirmed with the presence of a carotid pulse. Now, as a, an evaluator for the National Registry, I've, I've evaluated the station before, that's all you would need to say to get a passing card. And then you'd say rapid transport. So if you can regurgitate basically the ACLS algorithm for an unstable bradycardia, which this technically is, you'll do A-OK. -okay. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Also, please make your own playlists with other static cardiology videos that I've made for you here. You can shuffle them up and create little decks of your own. Till I see you next, have a good rest of your night.